All right, welcome back, everybody. It's me, Burrito. Today, we're doing the Corellian Corvette, and some of you may be going, didn't you already do the Corvette twice? And I'm like, no, I've done it zero times. If we're talking about the instance, not the flying one. Don't confuse them. Either way, we're out here with Tasha Starkiller, who, what? that's a hilarious last name, considering the other Starkiller in canon. And he's got some interesting choice of colored boots, but uh, he won't talk to us because... Um, He's in the business of the rebellion, so we got to flag up. But we're here on Corellia and build up a stall, so I might get shot by some Imperials, but that's okay. We'll do that as it comes. But uh, speaking with Pasha, he says you couldn't have come at any more distressing time, my friend. Uh, what seems to be the problem? You are one of us, therefore I can trust you with this information. It seems that one of our Corellian corvettes has been boarded and seized by ruthless Imper by a ruthless Imperial commander. This Imperial commander is bent on guiding the ship toward Talus and crashing it into our base there. What rebel base on Talus? Whatever. My first priority is to retake the ship before it crashes into our base. And the second is to, well, is to assassinate the Imperial commander responsible for this threat. And I go, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> In fact, I do, uh, so I ask if they, uh, they need my help, and I say, in fact, I do. Before we take any measures of action, I need more information regarding this Imperial commander. His background and his background. I can't issue an assassination without knowing he, without a doubt, wards such a demise. I have reason to believe that such information exists at one of three places. Fort Tuscan on Tatooine, a Geonosian laboratory on Yavin 4, or Lord Nyax's compound on Corellia. Can you see to this? Yes, I will help you. I am relieved and thankful for your eager resistance. Seek out the documents in the locations I mentioned. If you need more information about any of them, please let me know. So um, you could ask these three optional things where I'll give you some info dumps. So if we take the first one about Tuscan one, he says an Imperial force led by this command Imperial commander was sent by to Fort Tuscan not long ago before he received his current rank, actually. We don't know why his force was there, though we speculate that they intended to research the sand people living there. This is literally a plot line in Star Wars The Old Republic. Anyways. <laughs> or maybe attempt to broker some sort of deal with them. We do know it went badly and much of the Imperial force was obliterated by the Tuscan Raiders. Seek out anything he might have left behind during the retreat. Tell me about Lord Nyax's compound in Corellia. Ah, the feared cult of Lord Nyax. Their hideout can be found in Corellia in the central region of the planet. Unfortunately, I have little information to give you about them other than the rumor that they are secretly backed by the Empire. Search their hideout and find any data connected to the Imperial Commander. Tell me more about the Geonosian Bunker. A fairly new discovery that one. It is said that the Empire has been conducting secretive experiments there with the help of the Geonosians possibly involving biological weapons. The laboratory can be found on Yavin 4 in the northwestern part of the planet. I don't have much information about the place. I accept this mission. My nerves have been eased. Please hurry and return safely. So when you hit accept mission, you'll notice that, um... Yeah, it doesn't, um, give you a mission. <laughs> it's an unmarked mission. Uh, because the Corellian Corvette instance is a little bit of an oldie, but a, an okay -y. I don't want to say a goodie. But, um, yeah, so we're at doing one of nine possible entry points to this quest line. So I'm doing the Rebel Assassination mission because each faction has a destroy, assassinate, or rescue mission for the Rebels, the Empire, and if you're unaligned, a neutral factions, which usually like align with Jabba or something. So since I am committed to the Rebel faction, we are helping the Rebels. If I didn't have a, a declaration in the... Uh, GCW, then I do one of the neutral ones, and if I was doing Empire, I would do one of the Imperial ones, and you select one of the three missions. I selected Assassination because I felt like it was most in line with um, Vum's character, and also, it's just the one I've done the most. I think it's the easiest. I think the wiki will tell you otherwise, but eh, whatever. So right now, we have to collect this information, which basically, it's a random chance of being any of these three locations, so we're just going to start with Lord Nyack since we're on Corellia, so let's go do that. Yeah, I get what you mean. Um, sorry, these uh, the placement of these tree houses is extremely distracting. So they made their city on a hill, and then surrounded that hill with 
three houses. And that's a massive ass staircase. Uh huh. Okay. Now you can like jump to one from the other one. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So we're here at the Lord Nyax hideout, and we just gotta go see if we can't find a bookcase near the bottom of the base. You have this container that's not related to what we're here for, though. But if you head all the way down, all the way down, right here, you'll see this bookcase. What's inside? You're ready to let search. You find search. What did we get? Imperial dossier. That's actually what we needed. Hey, Imperial dossier. Uh, documenting the career of a high-ranking Imperial officer, a quick glance shows that this man is very ruthless and could be considered frantically devoted to violence. Yep. So we actually got exactly what we needed from the first go, which is good luck. So we're going to go back to Pasha and uh, deliver this information. So let's go. Okay, we're back with Pasha and his cream boots. You have returned. I am glad to see uh, you well. Have you found the documents I sent you to retrieve? I think I found something. You found something. Show the dossier. Well done. This is exactly the information we need. Hmm, this Imperial commander is worse than expected. He must definitely be eliminated. So much so that our primary concern has changed. First priority is now to assassinate this Imperial commander. Take this travel authorization to the Rebel Alliance hideout on Corellia. Speak with Lieutenant Lance there, and he'll give you more instructions. If you prevail, return to me for your reward. I am heading to the Corellia Corvette. Anything else? No, I have no further instructions for you. You'll need to present your travel authorization to Lieutenant Lance at the Rebel Alliance hideout on Corellia. If you succeed on your mission, you will return to me for your reward. Cool. Let's go there. So if you aren't like me in this case, you didn't get lucky in finding the information you need from the first location, then you need to go to the second, search that one, then go to the third. If you go through all three, you'll get what you need. You shouldn't have to do a cycle of, like, go back to the beginning, do it again. But, um, yeah, we did get lucky there. Okay, so we're here at, at the Rebel High a Lieutenant Lance and our travel is authorization was this doesn't expire. It's no trade. So you can always like if you're going to do this with a friend, you can always go do your prerequisite thing to get the travel authorization early. Keep it in your inventory. Go do it later. Um, One thing that I do know, want to know is that this instance was originally implemented to be done with a group of players. It is older content, making it very soloable for, you know, if you're geared and buffed. Or maybe if your profession is just a little bit more on the tanky side, naturally. Uh, but otherwise, you usually want to bring at least like maybe one or two friends to do this. And uh, obviously the location you're going to go to um, get on the Corvette will vary depending on your faction affiliation. But since we're Rebel, we're out here in Corellia. Far northwest corner of the map at the Rebel hideout. And we're going to speak with Lance and he's going to go. I am so bored. I thought he said base for a second. They've kept me here in managing flight schedules for what feels like an eternity now. Please tell me you're here with uh, my reassignment orders. Uh, ah, no, I can hear... Uh, no. I hear you can help me intercept a Corellian Corvette controlled by the Empire. Oh, there's a lots of things I could help you with, and possibly even something like that. What's your story? Tell them about a mission. Ah, yes, I was briefed about something like that earlier today. Well, how could... How would you forget about that compared to, like, what your boring shit is? Whatever. It was one of our Corellian CR-90 Corvettes, I believe. I'm glad we're going to, to go do something about it. I can definitely help you, but we're working against the clock here. Once on the Corvette, you only have an hour to complete your mission. After that, it's too late. Good, when can we go? And then he launches you immediately. So if you're going to do this with friends, also, be, I'll be there at the same time. Because I think he launches you all up at the same time. But let's uh, let's uh, buff up. All right. So there is a few tasks you need to get done on the Corvette um, in order to make it navigable. This is due to um, ship systems being taken offline. We're going to try and do this. I'm going to be trying to using the walkthrough in the beginning, or else you're going to see me get lost. The problem is, is that the wiki walkthrough... It's written for each individual, like, 
or like mission you do, which makes sense, but also you still need to like activate the engine, like open the engine room and do some stuff. So I don't know if each section is written like that. So you might see me getting lost even following the walkthrough. But listen, I'm trying, okay, everybody? The Guardians walkthrough, I got to go straight, take the elevator down. I think this walkthrough's already scuffed. Or maybe I'm just not understanding what it, it means go straight, go this way. Oh yeah, everything in here is like level 80-ish, and they're all elites. Don't worry about it, just just pants them. Oh, you know how my officer buffs. See, they're not too bad. They're just some wimpy Nova troopers, they're fine. Okay, take the elevator down. Make it right off the elevator, excuse me, sir. And then it wants me to take the first right, turn right, and take the tunnel toward... <laughs> it's been so long since I did this. Oh, man. I used to grind this for um, uh, AV21 engines. And by grind, I mean I get one. Okay, hold on. And going towards the front of the ship... This leads to the circular room with five halls leading off of it. Take the upper right most hall. I'm guessing they mean this one. Upper right. Make a left and enter the room. And use to attain the port side code. Oh, that guy just disintegrated, huh? How much HP do these guys have? 31k? Sorry guys, you got bullied on your stat array. Okay, uh, we gotta click this computer console, which gives us um, printing out security code for the officer quarters port side. And we got it. Uh, but in interacting with that console pisses off his SBD. So let's just take him out. Yo, what the hell? It's integrated. I'm gonna write down that code because I don't wanna have to scroll back up for it. U7591. This code does change, I believe. So you can't just, you know, keep it. Okay. This can be a little tricky and time consuming. Make your way to the large room at the forwardmost part of the main level. To get there, take the first door to your left from the starting point. Oh my god, we gotta go back up to the starting point. Hold on. I think I have to open this. Oh, cool. Mine. Is that gonna spawn another SBD? Wow, mine. Oh yeah, this is, by the way, where you get the chance that the rare loot is opening the armories and these, like, containers. So, I got uh, the Rick Blade, which is uh, bad. But, I did get the Rebel Marine chest plate, which is also not great, because you can just craft this. So, you know, not great loot yet. Okay, I came from this way. And then I... Uh... I came from this way. Yes. So I'm retracing my steps back to the beginning. Because that's where this guy continues from for some reason, but whatever. Alright, so we're back at the start. Which, by the way, check out our entry. Very cool. Just kind of rammed in, huh? Alright. Uh... Make way to a large room at the forward most part of the main floor to get there. Take the first door on your left from the starting point. Okay, maybe the first door they mean that opens. Okay, again, maybe they mean the first door that opens. This is an escape pod hatch, but is this way? <gasps> My favorite room. My favorite room because all the all the boys are in here that bring trouble to the yard. Okay, cool. All right, so I know in here, there's this droid. Okay, and you also see me, I'm not clicking on these things. It's because they don't always work when you click on them because they're used. So if you mouse over it and do forward slash open, then you can open them. So if you're having a hard time opening containers in here, that's what I'm doing, by the way. I guess I should point that out. It's just habit. I've run this so much in the past trying to get stuff. but So from that droid, we got the... Um, droid maintenance module and we're gonna need that to repair another droid somewhere else in the ship 
so that's why we came here. Okay, so we gotta go back down to the lower level where we got that code. See, it just doesn't help that, like, the ship is already a maze with how it's laid out. Okay, we gotta go down here. Okay, so then from here, we gotta go take a left, follow the hallway to the back of the starboard engine room. Which is this way. Okay, I think we're repairing the droid now. I'm just gonna kill the SBDs because they're here. You can usually like walk by most of them, but I'm just gonna not. Cool. All right, so now we defeat them. We're gonna come down here. I didn't remember an SBD being in this room, but here's H6PO and R3P5. Wow, got a Persona 5 fan here. Anyways, we're gonna take this droid maintenance thing and click and drag it onto him. And then he's going to turn around, and then he's going to go hit that console, hopefully. This doesn't always work. In my experience. He did it! And then if we go over, and that takes, turns off the electricity. And then if we go click that console, it says you've reset the locking mechanism. I don't know why we need him to turn that off if it, the locking mechanism is controlled by the same thing. Why can't he just turn off the locking mechanism? But... H6PO even says, oh, he did a good work. I think Legends patched this at one point. I regularly remember a patch note saying that they made this more consistent, but basically, like, sometimes he'd go over but never turn off the electricity. And that electricity basically instantly incapacitates you, so if you run across, it'll just fall on your, like, back immediately. But if you're quick enough, you could run across, click it, get in cap, then run back before it kills you. Or if you're a medic, just pump blood cleansers to get the weakened debuff off of you. Okay, but now that we have that... We can start accessing other elevators. So we gotta go back up this way. You can see why I wasn't like super pumped about doing this instance for the series, because like it's I think even as a viewer, even if I went step by step, it's still kind of confusing due to the layout. Um okay, we have to activate the elevator control in here. Okay, got rid of them. So we're going to want to interact the elevator control, which now we have reset the mechanism on the elevator door. That lets us use one of the other elevators to go up. And you will have to unlock the elevator for every mission. Oh, yeah. So basically everything I did there, that section from getting the jury component coming in here, something you'll have to do for every mission to get up to the area where a lot of your objectives are. But now the walkthrough wants me to go back to the beginning. But we can start from here, because I already know what's me to come downstairs. So it says, take the elevator down, make a right off the elevator, take the first right, turn right and take the tunnel. So we're in this room again. Take the tall leading straight to the hyperdrive room. Uh, it wants us to continue forward, but I'm just going to defeat these guys, because screw them. Okay, so we get through the hyperdrive room. Can you straight towards the long hallway at the juncture? Make a left. At the end of the hall, you will find an elevator. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll deal with that after I get rid of these fools. <laughs> that guy just... These two guys are like, I'm done with this fight. Bye. And then he just left. Wow. They didn't even want to keep going. I'd say this junction is probably the most dangerous one. You can pull a lot of troopers at once, like I did there. Took a pretty good amount of damage, but two of them just want to give up if you stay there, apparently. Apparently, they just don't like that spot. I think it's stinky. So, if you're a little less buffed or confident, maybe try and pull those characters, those NPCs, a little bit more carefully. I just kind of did what I usually do on Haywire. This is the armory. I was able to get in here. I need a code for this room. Maybe I got it earlier and I just didn't know. Okay, this is one of the ones you can open. Open! What do we got? Giggle dust. Hey! <laughs> this the, the spice you can loot from the Corvette instance has ha also had its stats updated to be the same as the spice that's crafted. That's funny. Sure. Alright, come on, SBD. Jump me. Maybe not. Okay. 
Whatever. Screw you too. I didn't want to fight you anyways. All right, either way, we came up, come up to this junction, make a left, and then we use the elevator. Um, we're gonna fight these guys because they're in my way. Um, at the end of the hall, you will find an elevator. This elevator is the one you unlock. Take it up. Off the elevator, follow the first left. There's another hallway here with doors that have keypads on either side and a door at the end. Go to the first door on the left. Stop. I'm trying to read the travel instructions, but you're just getting up in my grill. Oh, this is the one where we actually have to use our code here. And I know it's like 2-7-something. Hold on. Two, two, seven, five, nine, one. Doors now unlocked. Cool. Hi, guys. This is the guy we have to assassinate. It's an Imperial Inquisitor. He's so evil. Uh, he's dead. And then we get a system message that says, You have completed your assignment. Make your way to the escape pods before the time expires to get out the ship. So that's it. Uh, we've completed our assassination mission. Yeah, it doesn't take that long, huh? And I was just kind of like messing around. But I think we missed one armory. So I think we're going to go back and see if I can find it. Or one uh, one thing. So we got to go back and get some more codes. So let's go do that. I know I need the armory code. And I think I remember... I think I know where it is. But I'm going to check the location that I think is the wrong spot first. Because it's on the way. So that's me saying, I think I know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to try the other spot just in case. Hola, senors. Como estas? It's Medic's badass job. He's letting me kill everybody. That Dark Trooper's is stuck. He's malfunctioning. Send him back. Oh, there we go. He figured it out. He woke up. I like how the Dark Troopers are the weakest thing here. Officer Quarters, Starboard Side. I don't need that code, I think. Yeah, so I didn't think this was the correct room, but grabbed it anyways, just in case. I'll write that down, but I don't think I need that. Okay, I think the way... I think I have to go back to the start. And then go down the hall. First hall that I can access that's to the right from there. I believe that's where I need to go. How do I know this? Uh, vague memories deeply rooted in my brain. So here's where we started. So we come this way, and then if I go right, defeat you. I'm down this way. I think I have to keep going straight, but that could also be wrong, so I'm gonna check the right. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think you need to come in here to defeat these guys. I think you could poke. Uh... Hold on. I just realized this terminal is just a big, bizarre market screen, I think. At least similar. Whatever. Either way, uh, I think if you just click one of these. Nope. Printing. Oh, there we go. Armory 12554. All right, uh, time for the fun part. I don't remember where the armory is. Uh, let me look at the map. There's a map on the wiki. It shows you where to get the armory code, but not where the armory... Oh, wait, there it is. The drab yellow. I'm like 99% sure I was already in that room. I think the thing I'm missing is uh, actually something else. I think I already have the armory. I think it just let me in there for some reason. Because we've gotten... We got the Rick Blade, the Marine Chest, and then uh, the Giggle Dust. Yeah, I'm only missing one, and I see where it is. It's on the port side top floor, which is linked by an elevator on the second, on the main deck. That's linked to... Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. We gotta go this way. Take this elevator up, go around this way, and it's in one of these rooms. I figured it out. It's not this room, but I'm going to kill everything in here anyways, because why not? Or maybe it is in here. 
Is it the first room? No, it's the second room. This chest shouldn't have dick in it. Yeah, it's an op disc. That's for a different quest. What is this? I knew this would be worth it. We found nothing of evidence on the Alliance's treachery since we were uh, aboard this trip. The engine room is filled with super battle droids. Else, electrical search down there made them aggressive. I'm keeping non-essential personnel away from the area. Those these rebels have to be stopped. Oh, uh, right. So you can interact with the other like quests that are in here. So like for example, I could go rescue the rebel prisoners, but I think I could also go rescue the imperial prisoners because that's an objective for the imp imp imperial side, not here. Not Rebel side. Okay, so this is the room we need to get into. And then that armory has the fourth and final loot drop. Because the first two was that uh, droid and armory next to each other. The third one was the one that was in the back, or armoire, next to each other. Third one was in the back in the armory, which apparently you need a code for, but I was able to get in without a code. This is the fourth one. Which is a Rebel Alliance shirt. Which this shirt is unique to this instance. So not the worst drop. But uh, I'd rather have an AV-21 engine. Either way, uh, that's all we could do in here really. Since we already finished our assassination mission. So let's go back down. Uh, to the main floor here. Let's go back up here. I think I'm going the correct way. And uh, let's go get an escape pod. We're done in here. I mean, we, I could keep slaying enemies to get loot. But... Uh, I don't... That's fine. Uh, we'll use the escape pod over here. Because why not? So when you're done inside the instance, if you come down to the um, floor that has the hub, so one down from where you start, you find escape pod, click on that. It says, warning, using the escape cloud, we're moving for the Corvette. No method getting back. And then you click on it. And then uh, you leave. Yay! And the escape pod just dumps you to where you basically took off. You also get a message that says, you've done well, return to the person who gave you the assignment for your reward. Get the Rebel Badge Medal of Honor, in my case, down here. Some, yeah, Coralian Corvette, there's nine. And I did the Rebel uh, Medal of Honor, which is the assassination one, so I still have the rescue and the destroy mission. But uh, we have to go back to Asha Star Killers, so let's go. Interestingly, when I left, it put me on leave. I know Legends did an update where when you like exit Hoth, it puts you on leave. I wonder if that's a side effect that the Corellian Corvette insisted that. Because if we talk to Pasha, they're going to go, um, nope. And so we got to go back up to the combatant at least, talk to Pasha. Would you like to reward? Uh, it was unfortunate business, but this is at last at an end. I thank you for your part in this. Would you like your reward? Yes. And so then we say yes, that's my... Blah, blah, blah. He gives you the land speeder schematic for the AV-21. These schematics are dime a dozen. There's plenty of these, because completing the Corvette's not that hard. What is hard is getting the component needed to craft the AV-21 land speeder, which is the AV-21 engine, which appears in one of those four loot crates every time you run. So this goes for a little bit of money but it's the engine that really sells and then of course if you craft it and sell the deed then it goes for a really good amount uh the other best thing is you can get some okay augmentations and enhancements so there's a weapon uh melee habits for instance for 25 and up an aug for uh 221 uh you can get a lot of stated loot from this that is useful like check out my inventory i'm already at 60 out of 80. uh yeah but uh that's basically how it usually goes Honestly, that was so fast that uh, if I if there's not a cooldown, I guess I should just go do the other two, huh? To get the three rebel badges, flex out on that. Or with uh, Master Sergeant Crowley, this is the destroy mission. We're going to crush, kill, destroy. Uh, she says though, one of our own Corellian Corvettes, unthinkable. The Empire has uh, crafted a diabolic, diabolical pl political maneuver. They stole the Corellian Corvette and are filling it with explosives. They intend to set it hurtling into the center point station near Corellia. The plan being to make the rebels look both foolish and dangerous at the same time. We must stop them before they complete their horrible plan. Wait. So when I was doing the other, the assassination quest, they said they're going to run it, ran it into a rebel base on Talus. This one is they're going to ram it into a Corellian space station to bring them as terrorists. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? It's basically the same thing, except they don't have 
a location of where the Corellian Corvette could be. So last time we knew where the Corvette was, we just didn't know whether or not it was okay to assassinate the guy. Now we, it's, we don't know where it is, but they feel that the information can be either an Imperial base at Locke, the Road Corps sec base on Corellia, or the Imperial prison on Dathomir. Though the Imperial base makes sense, uh, but she explains that we have reason to believe that Imperial General Auto station at the Imperial base on Locke may be supplying the explosives being used on the Corvette. General Auto is also known to be fairly careless, so it would not be surprising if the information you seek was in an unsecured crate or a desk somewhere. Seek out the base and return if you find any information you find. The Rogue Corsac base remains that a group of Rogue Corsac operators have stolen some important documents from the Empire. This could well include the information I'm looking for. If so, it's in their hideout in Corellia. What about Dathomir Prison? Many of those who've been taken to the Imperial Prison on Dathomir never have been seen again. It is a dangerous and forbidding place. Rumor is that the surviving crew of this Corvette is incarcerated there. Try to this dangerous planet and infiltrate uh, the prison search for any information you can find. I accept. And again, it's not added to the journal. And again, since we're on um, Corellia, why don't we just go to, like, the Rogue Corsac base? <laughs> okay, so we're here at the Rogue Corsac base, and we're looking for a storage crate. Uh, is it in here or is it in one of the upper ones? I do remember coming here during Legacy and seeing a storage crate, but I don't remember where it was. Armoires. Oh, this? Search. You find something. Ship preparation document. This is a ship's preparation log signed by an Imperial officer detailing the whereabouts of a number of named ships. Oh, that might be what we need. So let's go back to Corvella and see if that's true. If so, wow, we're we're two for two on finding the correct information, but I haven't ever done the destroy mission. <laughs> I've literally only just do ever done assassination because I was like, cool. Kill him. <laughs> let's go back, though. Okay, we're back with Master Sergeant Crowley. Yeah, I found it. What exactly have you found? This document. Excellent. This is exactly the information we've needed. We now know where the Corellian Corvette is. You'll need to speak with Lieutenant Lance at the Rebel Outpost tied on in Corellia. He'll provide transportation, which will enable you to intercept the stolen Corellian Corvette. When you get to the Corvette, it must be destroyed before his center point station in Corellia. Okay, I'm off. All right, we're back with Lieutenant Lance. Hey, dude. He's like, hey, I thought it. Did I just see you? Like, what the? F what's going on? Um, wait. Didn't we just do this? B uh, okay. I mean, I'll take you to this other one. Sure, let's go. Okay, so we're back on the Corvette round two. We're here to crush. We're here to destroy it, uh, so that the Empire doesn't ram, ram it with high, filled with high explosives into a civilian space station to frame the uh, rebels to look like terrorists. I'm just saying, guys, if you're fighting for the Empire and they're doing shit like this, you might be on the wrong side. Just saying. I want to rethink your allegiances. I think this would be considered like a war crime. Pretty sure. So I came down here first because I knew that I might need the armory code question mark. So I came here to get this and then we can go get the uh, other code. Um... Gold screen of doom software has caused an error. Oh, that's a cute joke. The other one we couldn't access because we need op disks four, which is on a level nearby. There's the armory code. Note notes. 96, 366. What's that? Okay. Let's see if I can get this box immediately. And you know what? We can get the operations dick while we're up here. I don't think we'll need it for anything, but... Oh, we do, actually. It says get up. I look over, I see in all capitals and bold, get ops dicks number four. <laughs> yeah, so we need to come up here anyways. Sorry, this one's going to be less in order, I guess. <laughs> Same end, just different path. All right, so we got to get the ops disc number four out of here. Oh, hello, Beasley. So this says, this is a disk for a computer system come by. Probably Starship software packages is number one. Is the blah, blah, blah. This one just says the blah, 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 Alliance treachery, and then spawns as SPD that I can kill that I don't need to, but whatever, I already 
let me clean up my mess. Uh, let's go back in here, because I do want to get the armoire open, but we'll just kill all sons of bitches. This is what do we do here at Autogus World Burrito. <laughs> I still love hearing the flyby of a art like a artillery or of a flyby bombing inside a Corvette. Uh they're really good at their job. Oh, we got a Bantha doll. I'll take it. Sure, screw it. Not rare, but I'll take it. I, what's down here? I forget. Oh, hey, guys. You guys, uh... You know, when they position you at your post, it doesn't mean to post up on top of each other, but... Hey, I'm, I'm no judge. You guys do what you gotta do. Here, just poke them to death. I don't think, there's nothing up here, right? Nah, I don't think there's any reason to come down here. This looks like the, um... I, what do they call this on ships? Like the second bridge? You know what I mean? Auxiliary bridge? Oh, this has a computer. What does this do? Journal entry 334. We found a strange glitch in the engines that the new fuel type we're using. Apparently, if you set the hyperdrive settings lower than the fuel intake, then the drop in the engines to their lowest power level, it's only a matter of time before the pressure causes the cast rock failure. I think that's what we're going to be doing. I'm getting out after hearing some news about a scary dog-like thing running havoc in their base. Yeah, I'd do that too. If this bothin was loose in my base, I'd be like, oh, fuck, we gotta go, dude. This terminal? You set the disk and drive into the machine and reboot. Bridge code. Oh, that's how you get the bridge code. Um, We need to redo... We need to open up the engines again, so... Why don't I just do that? I'm gonna bop in real life. You probably laugh yourself to death. If they were like the bot, if they were like bothans from normal canon, I probably wouldn't laugh. But if it's the bothans from this game where they got the little tiny suction animal mouths, yeah, I'd laugh. I would laugh my pants off. I was pointing that out to Kaz before the start of the stream. Actually, I'm like, look, if you look at their like depictions anywhere else in canon, they don't have tiny mouths. They have like normal canine ass jaw, like mouths that fit their jaw. But in this game, because of how the uh, character creator is, I think they had a compromise and give them tiny little baby mouths. Um, so they all just look freaking silly. Open says me. Alright, here we go. Make me proud, little man. If you mess up, you're going in the garbage. Alright, cool. Turn the security off. Okay, so we redid the engine part. Cool. Because we, we do need that activated to get up to where we need to go. So now that we've done that... Um, uh, my monkey brain is turning on and saying, it's saying, Oonga Bunga, go get loot. So I think we're going to go get loot really fast. Sorry, everybody. This is going to be very out of order, but, you know, the wiki, for whatever trash I was throwing at it earlier, it did work when you follow it to the letter. Oonga Bunga. Money. Uh, Fugwit. Sure, sell that. Garbage. Defunct droid, another alliance shirt. Cool. Uh, I don't think I need the port side code. So I don't know why I came in here. Literally, I don't need to be in here. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna even click that. I do think I need the starboard code, though, so we're gonna come over to this room. And if I don't, well, then I have it. Wait, why did I do that? I know some people uh, leverage a critique at the NGE that it's too fast. Uh, that they overcorrected between pre-CU, CU, and now. I don't think the speed's the problem. It's just the difficulty. And honestly, part of that's just because they had to retroactively fit so many character skill like scalings to the NG. Okay, so there's the starboard code. Let me just get rid of this bungus. <laughs> I kinda I kinda worked ahead. So the first one is get the codes. You need the bridge code. Oh, uh, in the walkthrough, it does say smugglers can bypass a section of the just by slicing the main terminal in the computer room to obtain access code for the bridge of the ship. So you wouldn't need to go get the operations disk, but since the operation disk is like in the same room as loot, you probably want to go get it anyways. Okay, so we got to go to the port side engine compartment. So we got to go back this way. I knew we were going to have to go to this side. At some point. I just didn't know when. Apparently now's that time. I am going to get the last piece of loot later. Hey, guys. 
Uh, let me flip this elevator control on while I'm here. Uh, I think about it. Oh yeah, aren't you forced to SF when you're in here? Yeah, you are. I don't know why it forces you to special forces while you're in here. Considering that... I don't think you'll ever have an Imperial player in here with you. Considering it's, uh... Separate instances, but... Yeah, that's interesting. I love the oh dear noise the droids make when they die. Great. That's like the little bit of comedy that they're trying to insert from the prequels, I guess. Maybe. Maybe that's me reaching. Okay, so I don't think there's anything down here. It wants me to go up the ramp, so I guess let's go up the ramp. I'll loot the mouse droid, because... Why not? You go up the ramp, and then around into this room. That has some Nova Troopers. Get rid of them. Okay, so this one is the fuel take set it to the highest. Uh, select the fuel intake setting for the Corvette. Exiting without making a selection will force the fuel intake to the default. Uh, 80. The engine appears to be running normally. The engines have been reset. Was that right? Hyperdrive? It just keeps saying hyperdrive is at... Oh, it's telling me what the hyperdrive is. Yeah, you've set fuel intake to 80. Hyperdrive is at zero. Okay. I was misreading the numbers. Let's go to the hyperdrive now. Which the hyperdrive is on the same floor, just towards the four of the ship. Front? Four. Because we're in s spaceship. I don't know how it would roll on a spaceship versus a naval vessel. Whatever. Got him. All right, so we're at the hyperdrive control. We need to make it to the lowest setting, so 20. The fuel's at 80. Hyperdrive's at 20. Now we have to set the engines. The engines can be set. You'll see somewhere in the engines located in the bridge, which I think we have to go up a floor, but I'm going to go this way first because the armory is back here and we still need the last loot box before we leave. Oh, hey, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> See what I mean? Those two guys are like, ah, you're in the wrong spot. We don't care anymore. I pulled the guy who was all the way back here. Yeah, this is the armory. I don't know why I can get in without a code. Maybe it just sees that I learned the code and says, screw it, just let her, let her in anyways. Oh, wow, it's a light lightning rifle. Whatever, who cares? All right, well, we didn't get any good loot. So let's finish our task and get out of here. Which, I think I do have to go this way, actually. I think I remember how to get to the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's through here. Okay, so this is the bridge. Which is six nine seven or uh, six nine two seven three. Enter. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Troopers really got skimped on this one. I don't know why they're so much weaker than, like, just normal humanoid contemporaries. Whatever, man. Alright, so here we are at the engine settings. We need to be set to the lowest number, which is 41. You have sexually managed to destroy the engines. Your mission is complete. Make your way to a pod, escape pod. All right, let's go take the escape pod. Yay. We did it, everybody. Uh, what about the prisoners? Ah, blah, 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 blah. Too busy. <laughs> Too busy. Let them explode. I'm not getting rewarded for saving innocence. Just scuttling the ship. That is not in my job description. If you want it to be, you need to expand my responsibilities and increase my pay accordingly. All right, we did it, though. Yay! We got the other badge. So if I go my, back my collections out of my Corvette badges... There we go. We got the, uh... Alliance Heroism Medal. Let's go back and get our... Pneumatic again. Yay! Uh, we're back with the sergeant who doesn't want to talk to us because I forgot that leaving that instance turned put us on leave again. There we are. 
And then we, she's like, hey, great job. She said, you've done an outstanding job. When I heard that the Corvette was destroyed, I was ecstatic. Are you here for your award yet? And you get another schematic for an AV-21 land speeder. So you can see why I'm saying that the schematic isn't very valuable. It's actually pretty easy to load up on these. The difficult part is getting the engine as we've now gotten eight pieces of loot and none of them have been the engine. It's time for the last one. We're doing um, uh, Rescue, which is, has my least favorite uh locations we'll have to visit but we're here in tyrena speaking to adar talon who says arrested treason dathomir prison it truly is a pity one of our most trusted and well-decorated pilots has been taken prisoner by the empire he was arrested for a crime that was not his doing the empire even went as far as planting false evidence to destroy his innocence he needs to be rescued he has been taken to a corellian corvette which is en route to dathomir I need security codes in order to assemble a team to rescue him. Will you be, get those keys for us? Yes. There is hope yet. I have been informed that the security codes I need could be in one of three locations. Based on that information, the places to seek out are a downed blood racer smuggling vessel on lock, the Imperial Ward on Dantooine, and Imperial Prison itself on Dathomir. It'd be a dangerous journey filled with obstacles, but justice must be done. We must rescue the officer before he reaches that prison. Tell me about the ward. The Empire has conducted many top secret operations at this location. Unfortunately, it has been very difficult to penetrate the defenses of the warren on our side. We'll need a cunning alliance operative to enter the establishment and find those codes. The warren is on Dantooine. Tell me about the Imperial Prison. Ah, the Imperial Prison of Dathmir. Many who are arrested for their sins against the Empire are taken to this location. Most are never seen again. We must not allow our officer to meet with the same fate. We've lost too many men at, as it is. Since the Imperial Prison is where they are taking him, it wouldn't be surprising to find information about his current location there. Tell me about the Bloodraiser vessel. The Bloodraisers are a mysterious band of pirates and criminals. It is said they have access codes. Act, they have access to radar technology that can detect certain unique codes used by ships that approach within their range. This is my hope. The down Bloodraiser vessel unlocked though the exact uh, location is unknown. I accept this mission. Okay, we're going to do the blood laser on lock because that's probably the most out of right field option out of the three. It's like, hey, maybe the prison he's going to has it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, hey, maybe this facility on Dantooine might have it. Yeah, okay, maybe. I mean, it's Imperial, so maybe. Hey, how about these random pirates that are on the corner of the far outer rim? Yeah, 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 that checks out. So we're going to go with that one first because I think it's the funniest. I guess the ch challenge of the Blood Razor one is like the waypoint. Must be hard. To Isn't that just a POI? It is just a POI. What do you mean it's hard to find? It's a point of interest, my guy. Significant put POI to find. You're right. It's it's yellow on the orangish background that is lock. Very hard to see, I agree. All right, so here we are at the Blood Razor ship, which we're looking for a... What the hell is in the title of this waypoint? Chest in a small room near the down Blood Razor transport. Okay. Every guy is here is like level 50, so I guess it's just here. Oh, there's the chest. Security override code. Security override codes for Corellian Corvette. These will allow a ship... To slip past the defenses of the Corellian Corvette if he's properly... Hey, I think we found what we need on our first try again. We're three for three. Let's go back to Tyrena. All right, back with the Dar. Did we get the right thing, my die? Oh, what have you found? Ah, the codes. We now have the exact location of the Corellian Corvette he is on. Here, take this travel authorization to Rebel Hideout on Corellia and meet with Lieutenant Lance there. He will provide you transport on a starship. Yeah, okay. We we know what this we know that line. All right, back to Lieutenant Lance for the third time. I hope he really likes us because he's getting a lot of uh, FaceTime with us. All right, we're back with Lieutenant Lance. Hi, uh, third time's the charm, my guy. Okay, so we're on the Cur Curling Corvette again. We're now on rescue mission, and in the walkthrough, the first step is to repair the droid so you can unlock the elevator and then enable the elevator. So I'm just going to go quickly do that again really fast. So actually, I lied. I'm going to go get the armory code again because and then get the loot box upstairs. Then I'll go reactivate the elevator and then it will be at a new point. So uh, let me let me uh, let me do that.
The armor code this time is 86454. All right, I got to re rerun my officers because every time you change your faction status, you have to rerun like buffs like that. It's on officer, you always have to rerun focus fire and some drum master and stuff. So I have to flag up to get the quest. Then when I'm up here, it turns me to special forces. And then when I leave, it uh, flags me down. Let's get the droid component out of here again. And then I remember I did this once with a Griffin Striker, and he's like, "Where the fuck are we going?" And that's like one of the times where I, I didn't do it for a while. I just did it because I was like, "Here's something we haven't done." <laughs> we were both lost, and because like because verticality in this game just doesn't. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, he kept we keep seeing each other on like different floors and crap. And so he's like, "Wait, where are you?" I'm like, uh, "Go down the elevator." He's like, "Are you sure?" I'm like, "Yeah." Like, what room are you in? I'm like, "I'm over here." He's like, "What?" So this is, this is definitely um, janky. I would not make an instance where there's a lot of elevators close by like this for group stuff, just because of how that shit works in this game. And by that, I mean it doesn't. If you have like one elevator or like one enemy floor and the opposite one, it's fine. Like, I guess in Hoth, it's not that bad. It can be kind of confusing, but it's not that bad. You don't have to take most of the elevators, depending on your role. Oh, I still need to do the Jedi theme park prerequisite quests. Shit. I mean, I don't have to be rebel for that, but like. <laughs> just register with me. I haven't done that yet. I mean, I could do it solo spy. <laughs> spy can't solo it. Or so I've been told. Haven't tried, obviously. All right, what do we get out of these two boxes, huh? Got another Bantha doll. Cool. And another Rebel Alliance shirt. I am going to open up a Rebel Alliance clothing shop soon. I hope you all join me in it. Oh, let's go check the armory. I was like, should I get on to doing the rescue part? The rescue part's actually really short. This actually might be the shortest of the uh, three missions. Like, in terms of required steps. Um, here's this guy. Again, see, I haven't had to enter the armory code ever. It just lets me in. All right. Uh, loot number four. Yeah, this would be the last one. Uh, another shirt. <laughs> so this one, we got two shirts, a bantha doll, and, uh, what was it, a gun? Hey, we got the light lightning rifle again. Okay, well, all of our, uh, loot these three runs have been bunk. But you can do these pretty fast. Honestly, getting the travel authorization is the slow part. <laughs> okay, so I already, uh, reactivated the elevator, you know, hit the elevator control, checked all my loot. I am down at the, uh, main lower floor. They're not labeled, so forgive me. I'm in the area with the five tunnels leading off. And so now we got to get the prison cell code. So once we get down here, uh, take the elevator, go down, make a right, the elevator, take the first right, turn right, uh, take the tunnel toward going to the ship. This leads to the circular room with five halls leading off of it. Take the hall leading straight to the hyperdrive room. And we're going to go past the hyperdrive room. And then at the juncture up here, we're going to go right. And then we're going to use this elevator to go down. And then we're going to follow the hallway and then go left here. And, oh, there's some enemies here, so let's clear that up. Into the dark room. Use the terminal here to get the code. So we have to go down all the way down here, and then we got to use this computer console. Which summons SBD, but... He clipped into the wall, so he's a dumb baby, and but and doesn't fight me. But we have the code now to the prisoners' quarters, which is for this run fifty two seven five. Cool. So now that we have the code, we gotta go back upstairs. So now that we have the code, we have to go back upstairs. Let's take this elevator up, and then go straight across. Take this elevator up. Oh no, Captain. Gonna be up this dark trooper, because why not? And then here's the prisoner code, which we need to enter, even though the door opens. I mean, I guess I'll enter it for the 
sake of immersion, but it looks like this door for some reason is unlocked. There we go, this door's now unlocked. Yay, we can go in. And here's the rebel pilot that we were meant to save. Let's talk to him. I'm glad to see you guys. Maybe by guys he's referring to my familiar. There's no one else here besides me. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, okay. I've been trying to work out a escape plan, but ever since they got me on this vessel, but they have kept a close eye on me. How did you find me here? We asked that coward, Adar Talon, for help, but he refused, so we did it on our own. Rude. Adar Talon put, uh, put together a plan for us. We couldn't have done it without him. I don't know why you'd say the first one. The, uh, ah, I should have known. Adar is a competent as he is brave. Excellent work. I know of a rebel safe haven that's not too far from here. I'll take an escape pod to there. So thank you again. You've completed your assignment. That's it. Now we gotta go take an escape pod. So yeah, I guess in terms of steps, um, I'd probably say the rescue mission and the assassination mission are definitely the shortest. The only extra step that the assassination mission required us to do was to get the port side officer quarters code, which wasn't too bad. This one just had us get the prisoner code. Obviously for the um, destroy one, we had to do a little bit more. And for those of you wondering, how would you know to set those um, ship settings the way we did? Some of those desktop terminals I was clicking on, like the one earlier, it said stuff about, oh, if the fuel's too high, the hyper gets up. There's hints scattered around the instance of how to destroy the engines. But um, the walkthrough just had it. So let's take our uh, escape pod and get our last badge and go get another AV-21 land speed or schematic for no engines to go with it. I don't know what the drop rate is for the um, engines. I remember that I think I ran that instance at least 10 times before I got one engine. It's definitely not the rarest component in the game, uh, but uh, you would need to do the instance, unless you get very lucky, a couple of times. But let's go return to Adar, Talon, and Tyrena just to put a nice closure on it. And for those wondering, yes, we get the badge as soon as we land, which there it is. Alliance Valor's Service Medal. So, good job. We got all three badges for the Corellian Corvette. Instance. <laughs> I always have to specify that. All right, we're back with the Jar Talon, and we speak with him. He says, go away because I'm not combatant. <laughs> now, if we speak with him, he says, I cannot thank you enough for your actions. You have not only rescued a pilot of the Alliance, but also a friend. I am pleased to be able to reward you. Cool. Smiling, year as always. You're in this. And we get another schematic. Yay. Well, that's it, everybody. That's the uh, Corellian Corvette instance and the three missions you could have. Again, there's versions for Imperial and um, Neutral, but they're all basically rescue, destroy, or assassinate. It's just the individuals you'll be assassinating might be different depending on the side. But yeah, thanks. I hope you get an AV-21 engine, because I didn't. 